Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I am just ready to head to my appointment. I have an acupuncture appointment. I'm not really giving myself a whole lot of time. I wanted to go pick up Ken's a little snack and bring it to him at work. I should probably head out. It's kind of rainy. It's been rainy all week. and It's actually really depressing. <laughs> it's only been a week. We have cold, lots of cold to come and I am not looking forward to it. Made it to get Ken's a little snack. I ended up going with some Colonel's popcorn. I am officially at my appointment now. I wanted to make sure I gave myself extra time because she kind of moved to a home business. So I have no idea where I was going. Google Maps saves the day and I'm here early, which is awesome. I really, really hate being late for appointments. It makes me really anxious. Just chilling in my car, worshiping Jesus and waiting for my appointment to start. Oh, I really need a dash tripod thingy majig. I just got done with my appointment. I just love my acupuncturist. She is so amazing. She's just super calm. She listens really well. She believes that your pain is real. <laughs> I kind of broke down almost. My eyes got really watery and she was kind of explaining how chronic illness and chronic fatigue is real. It's just nice to know that people believe me because I've had practitioners kind of just ignore the fact that I'm suffering and a lot of people just don't understand and rightfully so because how do you know if you don't like you've never gone through it you don't really understand so it's just really nice now I'm just heading home gonna go for supper it's really nice actually I don't have to make supper tonight <laughs> I'm really tired I'm in a lot of pain and I haven't watched the last episode of Bachelor in Paradise so I'm going to try and relax and just enjoy a show for now. And I'm just putting on my diffuser. Oh, looks like it's out, so I'm going to refill it. And I'm going to have a snack. I have some strawberries and blueberries. And I'm going to make some tea. Probably drink the tea after I have the snack. That's not a very good combo. So excited. I don't know what time Ken's will be home, but I'm gonna make myself my fish. Some steelhead trout. So good for you, omega threes, good quality fat, lots of nutrients. That's what I'm having for supper. I'll just make the whole thing and then have leftovers. That's the best way to do it. The only thing I'm gonna season this with is, surprise, surprise, Epicure Spice. And I'm going to use the seafood and fish. Obviously, I'll be using salt. I use that on everything. And just some pepper as well. Voila! Probably kind of make like a salad with it. Some arugula. I have spinach. Maybe spinach. Put some oil, maybe some lemon to have a little bit of a dressing. I got hungry so I started eating my beets and roasted carrots. <laughs> I do have my greens ready. Instead of doing lemon, I did olive oil and apple cider vinegar. Kind of mixed it up. I'm literally just gonna have a plain salad. I have hemp hearts on that as well. For some extra fat and protein. I know that looks really bland and plain, but if I'm being honest, there's like about 10 foods that I can eat. My gut has been terrible since I was a baby like seriously terrible and through the years it's just gotten a whole lot worse it's really hard to go out and eat and travel and all these things when everything that you put into your body whether it agrees with you or not i still end up getting bloating and pain after <sighs> like i love food and you get really hungry and nauseous so then you eat and then you get really bloated and you get 
really bad pain. That's kind of why my foods are so simple and same old, same old, because I can't tolerate hardly any food. Like even foods that are supposed to be good for you. I started getting joint pain and stomach issues, so I need to continue working with my naturopath to get some more answers, possibly SIBO, or different infections, which I know it sounds terrible and gross. I know. I know I talk a lot about pain and fatigue and PCOS and endometriosis, chronic illness, whatever it may be. Digestion has always been super bad and I have a hard time eating. And also why I don't show a lot of what I eat because, you know. <laughs> I know it's so good for you to have a variety of foods, different um, bacteria in your gut, which is super, super important. But I can't do it. Like I've tried eliminating foods. I can tell which ones bug me, but I can't reintroduce them. Like they're just, I just can't eat like anything. Oh my stomach. And um, oh. see what I mean? I did just eat. This is. Oh. I'm gonna go and figure this situation out. This is not fun to watch. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> the final product. I know my food never looks beautiful, but that's what it is. It tastes so good. Okay, I cried in last week's video, so I'll try to keep it together. I'm just having a really, really hard time. I just kind of feel like I'm in a rut. I'm overwhelmed. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say I'm struggling, but it's just not helping in terms of creativity and trying to create videos and I don't really know what you guys want to see. I don't know. I'm kind of just, like I said, I'm feeling a little bit lost. But for now, I'm just going to do some foam rolling and just stretching out a little bit, kind of release some of the tension and anxiety that I'm having. Put some worship music on. Praise Jesus because he is so, so good. Just trust in his goodness. I haven't seen Ken's all day, so I came with him to get the vehicle washed because it was filthy. <laughs> and he's doing it in a suit because he was working. Just creeping. I just showered, obviously. Wet hair and I get rashy when I shower, so please ignore that. <laughs> I'm really tired now because I showered. Took the energy right out of me. Story of my life. I'm sure you could tell, but those last few clips were from last week and I was having a rough week. I don't know if it had a combination of the weather because it rained and was super gloomy for like four days straight or if it was just like an off week. Maybe it's a combination of a few things, but it's not that I'm feeling any better. It's just I feel like God has given me joy and a new perspective this week, so I'm gonna cling to that. I'm gonna create a video kind of sharing what God is teaching me and working on in me, and yeah, just stay tuned for that. But, sliding through my couch. My Young Living Lady just sent me a free little gift, which was so thoughtful of her. She told me that she was gonna send me a bottle called Valor. It smells amazing. It's meant to be like a courage blend. And she sent this really sweet card and she explained how in the Bible times men would use this kind of oil before they went into battle. Whether that's a proven fact or not, I don't fully know, but I thought that was really cool. And it smells so good. Kind of smells like a man. And then she threw in an extra goodie and gave me a lip balm. And it's a lavender scent. I just ran out of my other lip balm. So perfect timing because my lips are so chapped, like they're cut. And I have a really bad habit of biting my lips. But I also wanted to update on these glasses. I've been wearing them before bed. Generally anytime I'm home, I wear them and they work. Like I am shocked. I don't know if it's because I just 
have no energy or what but I am able to get pretty sleepy at night it's just not like me I usually take a long long time to fall asleep I like I said I don't know if it's the glasses or if it's just because my chronic fatigue is really bad it doesn't take too long to fall asleep and so that's good blue light blocking glasses are awesome I've also heard many people say that they don't get as much headaches from screens or anything like that when they wear them can you guys see my crab apples there i just realized that this girl from work she has a crab apple tree and she had like three full boxes like that which is crazy i'll show you okay we also shared like some with family those are a lot of apples I think I'm gonna end the vlog here though, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.